Yeah, my name is Tony Massey. This is my 57 Chevy wagon I bought. I bought it five years ago because I got four kids, four grandkids, and I needed, I got a pickup, but I needed to have a wagon so I could ride all my kids in it. So I bought this and now I can take all my grandkids and my kids rolling with me. I've had it five years. I painted it, got it repainted to a lark, Larkspur blue, the original color with the ivory white top I had the tailgate done with a nomad tailgate so I can make it different make it original so that's why it has a nomad tailgate on it I also put in the turbo um, T 700 R tranny in it so I got four gears first second third and fourth with overdrive I got the original 327 motor rebuilt in it I put disc brakes so I can stop in it and um, put a new sound system in it, put a new interior in it. I put plastic interior so I don't worry about the kids spilling food or sodas in it. It's easy to maintain, easy to keep clean. And um, my daughter always taking this car from me, but it is what it is.
And like I said, this is the 327 I got in it. I put a new intake on it, a new carburetor, 650 carburetor. And I put an extra battery so I don't have to worry about the car dying when I got the music playing. And uh, it's been treating me right so far, so I'm happy with it. Runs good. And I think it looks good. And uh, I'm in the car club, the Venetians. Everybody is from Venice, so that makes us Venetians. And um, today we're here with about five of our six cars representing here in the city of Inglewood. Looking nice, nice day. About 200 cars here, can't complain. Looking beautiful. My name is Mike Holmes and I'm a 45 year Inglewood resident. And uh, I bought this 1950 Mercury in June of 1998. The car had no motor, no glass, no interior, and I bought it in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, the car sit up until the last six years because I had this project I had just purchased, and so I couldn't do two at the same time. So this was my first project I did ground up in my backyard. And I did everything, chopped the top four inches, installed the motor, the motor mounts, I put the airbags on it. Uh, all of the fine details were uh, customized. The, the grill is from a 53 DeSoto that I found. And shopping from here to Oklahoma, I found all of the stainless to replace it and had it repolished and chrome. All of the hand painting, I did that myself. And, and on the side, and a friend of mine assisted me. He actually did all the stitching. I'm a more of a metal man versus a, an upholstery guy, but I did a lot of the upholstery work on it. And I had custom dash knobs, old school dash knobs, built the console and all the bezels around the, uh, the gear shift, power window switch. And these grab handles are from an Electra 225. I modified the back seat and put a, a custom a fold down armrest that came from a, a Lincoln Town car. Modified and took two rows of coil springs out welded the mechanism in and had it a poster. And around here is the original gas tank with the bezel around it. The, all of the new emblems were replaced. It has LED lights in the, in, in the, for the tail lights. Everything hand painted as far as the emblems and the Mercury sign. So this was a six year project. And so far, I'm really pleased with it. And I installed a, a LS2 6.0 from a, a Cadillac Escalade. It has a six speed transmission, 6L90. I, I've redid the, the firewall, fabricated all the metal in the backyard. There's no wires, you don't see spark plug wires or none of that stuff. No AC wires, I've hit everything. I've, I've Frenched the, the headlights and actually did old school leading around the headlights. That's why it looks smooth and I made the front end one piece. It was actually three pieces and I welded it all together and molded it in. My name is Hinaro Aguirre and my car is a 1981 Cutlass. Um, I've had it for about six and a half years, and um, me and my dad, I helped my dad build the murals. I helped him put the hydraulics, the rims, and all these, um, what is it called? All these paintings and everything, I got them from Astix, um, the, the sun, it's a god of a, it's a god of, I forgot the name, but it's, it's the sun, 
and it's all about aesthetics. The whole car is about aesthetics. And then right here, we got one of the fighters on the door. And then under here, we got murals under here. And then back here, we have um, one of the fighters holding a, a girl that died recently. And then the name of the car is Tonantiu that says right there. And then on this side of the door, it's my mom. And everything else, there's a skull right there, my mom. And in the hood over here, we have my siblings, including me. My sister, my sister that passed away, and then my other sister. And we have the Loretta logo down here too. But, hmm? um, I'm 11 years old and my dad got me this car when he got me this car because I've been wanting a Reuter. He was usually into trucks, but I wanted a Reuter and he got it for me. And it, from six years to this, it's way better six year, from six years ago. Because six years ago, it used to be just plain green and non, none of these murals. What I want to do when I'm older um, to this car, I want to put a full frame so I could do like three wheel and everything because right now you can't do three wheel. And I just want to make put a little bit more mirrors and get the bumper, the front bumper and the back bumper in um, gold engraved. We have eight, that's like eight batteries. And then we got the speakers back here that have all the bass and everything. And right here, it's um, like so we could move the, the trunk back and forth whenever we want to. The switches they make um, they make the car, the car go up and down, and sometimes you could even do three wheel, but we don't like to do three wheel because sometimes, well, since we don't have full frame, we don't really like doing three wheel because it could break. Um, but sometimes um, the hydraulics is messed up and we had to fix it because um, it like breaks in the inside.